What is up, my name is Frankie and today I'm showing you how you can make a YouTube banner that looks great on both TV, laptop and mobile. So why do you need a YouTube banner that looks great on all platforms? Well, on YouTube your brand is everything and the more professional you look, the better off you are. There's really no reason why you shouldn't have a banner that looks great on all platforms. So to begin with, you need a great image. So I am working with this image that I took a few days ago at this beautiful spot in Sweden. A banner should be simple, elegant and say something about your channel's brand. This channel, for example, is all about photography and videography, so I wanted a nice background as my banner. So next up, we'll head into Photoshop. Next up, we'll import my Photoshop banner template. You can find this everywhere on Google, but I will leave a link for you in the description if you can't find one. The most important area is the area for mobile devices. According to YouTube themselves, more than 70% of watch time comes from mobile devices, so make sure that you show your most important things in this box. Here in my case, I'm going to make sure that I can be shown for all mobile users. But we can't forget about the other 30%. So how do I extend this image to fit all devices? Well, there is a couple of ways you can try, but my favorite is copying a part of the image and reflecting it. And I will show you right now what I mean. So I'm going to hold down control and press my image. And then I'm going to deselect this part of the image. So I only got this part of the image selected. And then I'm going to copy this and paste it. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl T for free transform. And I'm gonna right click and press flip horizontal. So this way we got the same image but reflected. And now I'm gonna drag this out and I'm going to place it right at the corner. Like that. And we get this nice surrealistic 360 vibe, kinda. And I'm going to do the same for the left side. So I couldn't fit this side all the way out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna copy it once more. And I'm going to flip it once more again. And I'm going to line it up right at the edge. And you can do this as many times as you want. So here is the final result, and I think it looks much better than just having a cropped image. But we're still missing some of the top and some of the bottom. So first off, I'm gonna merge all of these, because I'm quite happy with the result. And then I'm going to go into Edit and press Content Aware Skip. And I'm gonna drag this up. And as soon as I start to be dragged as well, you can see that I'm getting taller. I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna press enter and then I'm going to repeat the same step. And as soon as I get distorted, I'm gonna stop and I'm going to do the same. Voila, we have now extended the sky all the way up. We cannot really do this for the bottom part because if we try, You can see that all that gets extended is the sky. Well, this is quite a tricky one. We can try to do the same as we did for extending the sides and we will see how that looks. So I'm gonna mark this part and I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to flip it uh, vertical this time, not horizontal. I think this looks kind of surrealistic and it gives off this uh, 360 like it's taken with a 360 camera or something. So I actually think this looks pretty nice. So that is the final image. Let's see how this looks on different devices. So this is what the image looks like for all mobile users and very small laptops. And then this is how the image looks like on a tablet. And then this is how the image looks like on a computer. And finally, how the image looks like on a TV. So I think that worked pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, mind you that this technique doesn't work on all images. I think it works better on some and it works worse on some. But I still think it's worth a try to extend your banner. I mean, it's just such a simple thing to do and it shows that you really care about your channel. If you like this short tutorial, leave a like, leave a comment, you know what to do. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.